talking. How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill, but Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason was a wonderful master. Why are the premises in such disarray? Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <gasps> perfectly capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from essence of Disney to mooncalf fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. <laughs> All right. I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. I'm well seated. Hogsmeade, here I come. <laughs> Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvellous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Ha! Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favour of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Yes. An unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Do we have a deal? It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But 
I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Hello again. You know, the shop won't be... Hello, Homora. What do we have here? A demigod. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say, I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organised, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavours. Penny will meet you there. Wait a minute. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready.
Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Repair. This will surely be the most successful shop in Hogsmeade. Oh, Penny can already see the potential. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. Repairer. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Well, that's not very hospitable. Oh goody! Someone to play with! I sense you're not ruffled by hard work. So determined to guess will be wonderfully fun! For me, at least. Lumos. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. Oh. What in the... Who's there? Lumos. Lumos. Bats. Lovely. <laughs> hmm. Seems as if I should hang something there.
These lanterns must belong somewhere. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Perhaps the lanterns are meant to be hung on the hands. How enlightening! <laughs> hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the others. Lumos. You've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the thing? Every <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides hear it to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Rebellion. Lumos. 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 Hmm. Running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Lumos.
Lumos. Incending. Lumos. 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 Oh, how nice of him to pop in. Lumos. 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 It's always good to have a different perspective on things.
Incendio. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa. My head is spinning! Leviosa. Incendio! Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like many living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm afraid of the dark! Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? Wingardium Leviosa. It should. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable. Store, do I? Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio!
What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> pieces on the board indicate where I can't go. Perhaps I can find a way to reveal the path. Revelio. can find a way to reveal the path. That wasn't too difficult. Oh goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 